Hello, today we're going to do a raw vision of a burrito recipe from Angela Leiden from her book, Oh She Glows. Right. What we want to do is we use a quinoa and we want to get it sprouted. So we'll do a cup of quinoa, get that into a sprouting jar, we'll get that started. So we have one cup of quinoa, fill it full of water, a little clumsy there but it still works. So, so now once we've got the quinoa in the sprouting jar, what we can do is soak that for four to six hours, rinse it well, and then let it start to sprout. Now the quinoa is soaked for between four to six hours. What you do now is you drain it, rinse it very well, then drain again. What this will do is remove all the enzymes off of the quinoa and allow it to sprout more readily and be more easily digestible. So once it's drained completely, I like to spread it around the jar to give it a little bit more room to sprout. Okay, hello again. I'm gonna make a corn pepper wrap here. This is a version of Dan McDonald's corn pepper wrap. It's like a tortilla. This is what um, I'm gonna use to put make the burritos in. So what we do is I start with uh, two bags of corn, frozen, organic, fawn, Get those in, make sure we get them in a good high power blender. I use a Vitamix. Put that in there. Uh, two tablespoons of flaxseed. I grind them up in a coffee grinder. A tablespoon of salt. It works. And then one red pepper. I de-seed it and one garlic clove. That's about a clove. So I'm gonna grind this up and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, now we've got it all blended up in the Vitamix. And I just pour it out on some dehydrator sheets. All right, welcome back. We are continuing on our raw vision of the burrito recipe. As you can see, I've got the quinoa sprouting nicely. I've got a few more hours before that's ready. If I wanted to, I could do another rinse and repeat, but I think they'll be just fine. Now the rest of the ingredients, we've got a half a head of cauliflower, one red onion, a few stalks of celery and a clove of garlic so we're just gonna press the garlic real quick get that in our bowl make sure you cut your celery up kind of small because it will tenderize a little better if you make it a little smaller.
probably put about a tablespoon or two olive oil. Mix it up. that on a dehydrator sheet. Dehydrate about four hours. It'll be ready to put together. Alright, so now we get to make the sauce for the burritos. We drain our three quarters of a cup cashews into the Vitamix. Half a cup of almond milk. A quarter of a teaspoon onion powder. Half a teaspoon salt. One teaspoon white wine vinegar or lemon. I like the white wine vinegar, it gives it a little bit different flavor. Clove of garlic. Quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast. Now I like a little bit more, so see and about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard now if you want to go completely raw you should use like a mustard powder or something like this but personally I like the flavor of Dijon mustard gives so as you see I got it blended very nice the sauce. Now since it is a raw vision, we may not need quite all of the sauce. Personally I like it all, but it does give it make it a little wet. So the burrito might not come together as well. So we'll put this together in a little bit once everything else is done. Now you can see this has been in the dehydrator about four hours. As you can see it's looking pretty good. Put that in the bowl. It smells great. Can't wait. So instead of cooking this on the stove, just throw in the dehydrator. We sprouted the quinoa, as you can see. Looks great. I'm excited to get into that. We'll mix. that up a little bit. Now next, we'll use the sauce. As you can see, I've portioned out a little bit into a bowl. I'll mix a little sauce in with it.
you wanted to, you could mix the whole thing together. Now, as you see the wraps, they're a good flexible consistency. And there you go, raw vision.